Here comes a new challenger! Hello there everyone, in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a round of one game, exploring mode called Squad Strike. It is a mode that you can only play offline with friends or with CPU or even Amiibo. And I kind of wish this mode was actually usable online. Now there are two ways you can use this mode. You can essentially set it up like a crew battle styled, you know, sort of match where it's like, you know, one stock gone, all right, next game. You know so on and so forth sort of like a like a baton system you can think of it like that where once one player loses you know then you go on so on and so forth but and the way we're gonna be playing it is the one that i kind of wish tournaments were run i know it may sound weird but i kind of wish like tournaments actually went with this and that is having a player play three individual characters per their stocks and the reason why i would love to have this as an actual like thing for competitive play is that look at this roster this roster is huge really really big wouldn't it be cool you know maybe just a thought if we could actually just see most of it and don't tell me oh well zap i mean most competitive players only play one character no and most people from what i've seen play at least two or three characters two or three and, you know, for me, I like seeing multiple characters. Plus, you could always have, like, a dummy character, right? So, like, let's say you play, like, a 2v3 game, right? And you use the dummy character as a way to see what opponent's habits are, etc. Then you can use that to your advantage. You could sort of think of it sort of like how King of Fighters is in that sense. So for this run, I'm going to be using Miis. And our opponents, let's set them up first, right? Uh, let's, let's set them up. Never mind. I guess we'll set mines up first. And that, we'll start with Unarakami and Sans. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do Barret. Actually, <laughs> we should just do Teddy, right? Haha. <laughs> and then, for the Brawler, we're going to do Heihashi. Why? Because the opponents we'll be facing today is Kazuya, Mithra, and Sephiroth. Yeah, this, uh... This seems kind of fair. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe maybe we should make things. Oh, you know, you know, mirror, right? Uh, so so Link and and um and uh, mirror. There you go. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't even use these sets very well, but we're gonna try to make it work. So let's begin. So, the way this works is that you can pick whatever order you want your characters in. Le up, left, right is whatever decides the order. So we're gonna go up, left, and then right, whatever. And then they go in a different order, whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, not the order I would have hoped they went, but that's perfectly fine. So, this is how it works. You get your three characters, and each of those three characters is a stock. Now, when you lose the character, you switch onto your next character as that stock. And so, uh, you know, there's no switching, of course, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I mean, this isn't Marvel, this isn't Dragon Ball, this isn't uh, Power Rangers, etc. You know, there are no cis. You just pick your characters and you make for the best with them, right? Now, some may say, Sab, it's going to be pretty embarrassing if you lose to CPUs, all right? But these CPUs, I don't know about Sephiroth, but I know, I know Mithras is kind of cracked, and so is uh, Kazuya, so I wouldn't mind losing to those. But, uh, you know, I'm not even playing my mains because I think it'd just be funnier if we just played some Mii's. And uh, here's my Heihachi Mii. He has some funny moves, like uh, he has the counter, which is really spammable. I wonder if he'll hit. I want to... Okay, never mind. It, it doesn't really have, like, that big of a counter window, so it's very precise. But we're going to try to make it work anyways. As for the CPU, they're very unique uh, and that, for instance... Uh, the Mithra one will actually, like, down tilt spot dodge, which is really funny. But uh, here we have Link. Now, Link, you know, so some of you may be thinking, Sab, what is this? Why do you have Link in the Rex Meek outfit? Why wouldn't you have him in the Breath of the Wild outfit? Well, that's because in, um, in Breath of the Wild 1, uh, if you had Xenoblade Chronicles 2 save data, you can actually 
play as Link with this armor, which is pretty cool. Alright. My up airs did not connect. I Me mean, Sword Fighter sucks. Have I ever mentioned that before in a video? Yeah, I did. Um, and, I, and I have a couple different moves. I have the counter. I also have the Chakram, because Chakram is busted. Alright, there you go. That's one down. Sephiroth versus Link? Question mark? And for those wondering, yes, I did base the Miis off of their designs from the trailers. So, for instance, um, the, the Link face I'm using comes from the actual Smash 4 Link trailer. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, Smash 4 definitely had like a lot of first party and miscellaneous Miis than what Ultimate has. Uh, one of them was the was Link's tunic, my green tunic, as, as playable. And... Like, uh, it was, uh, obviously they had, like, the faces for the Miis, and so, uh, that's where I based this Miis face off of. It was based on that trailer. Alright, let's see. The, the one I'm scared of the most is Kazuya, so I guess it kind of made sense that that one would be saved for last. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, wow, that one's snapping a lot. Uh, that really is, like, day one Sephiroth, huh? Just, just start snapping them. No, counter. Never mind. The counter's actually not not that bad. I, I, don't, I don't know why people hate on it. I like counters that send up. And in the case of uh, the Mii Swordsman, it, it looks like you can... Alright, I tried doing something cheeky. But let's see if we can actually pull this one out. No, ow! Man, the CPUs really do be pairing everything. Barrett versus Sephiroth. All right, I don't, I don't actually use this set too often. And uh, as example, I use have this because <laughs> I, I, I give the Mies like what would be their logical, um, their logical, um, uh, what you might call it, like uh, custom moves. So like obviously for Barrett, he's got like a couple of these. Though I got to be careful because. Obviously, this Kazuya, this Kazuya, um, it's kind of whack, you know? I don't know why the Kazuya uh, CPU out of all the CPUs is so optimized, but there you go. Um, unfortunately, Barrett can beat Sephiroth, but he can't beat Kazuya. I was really hoping to have Heihachi at the end there, because I, I, <laughs> but oh well. That's generally how Sky Squad Strike is, right? It's a very simple mode, but it's a mode that I wish was available in offline play because i mean seemingly it shouldn't be too hard and plus it'd be very fun because then you actually get to explore characters you know what that's one of the things that people always say right oh i can't i can't find a main right i can't i can't find a main finding a main is too hard but having this mode at least for three stocks you don't have to have the five stock one at least three stocks by itself makes this mode so good for online because you can essentially play different characters that you may not have thought you were interested in before right so for instance like let's look at the characters up here as an example let's say i like link i like marth and i like mario right and i know how to play mario sure but i don't really know how to play link or marth and i, I don't do i do i want to try them out you know so in a friendly situation a friendly environment hey i can play link and marth for individual stocks and you know just keep getting better at with them if i feel like i enjoy them etc having a mode like this would definitely be beneficial overall because in ultimate because there are so many characters to compare a fighting game with a smaller roster in my opinion is better in the sense that you're allowed to gradually grow with the roster as the roster improves and because of that you won't have that many characters to like start off the game with so that you feel overwhelmed and trying to find a character you personally want to play right and so in a way you're slowly gradually getting better and understanding every character in the roster and it's you know in a slow but moderate pace which is good whereas in smash because you can only play one-on-one -on -one, you're typically just trying to practice one character and that's it and you're more than likely not going to have someone in your house to play with so oftentimes you're really just going to be by yourself and just picking one character online and you're not really going to give every character a try. Having a mode like this would definitely be beneficial. I know it's possible to add like different modes to 
the online system because they obviously added amiibo battles for arenas and they added you know the uh, small battlefield as like its own separate thing so i mean i don't know how difficult it would be to have switching characters in an online environment maybe that says more about the online than anything else though then again the online was very good to begin with ha <laughs> please like share and subscribe but really my only gripe with this mode is that it's not really used in tournaments it's not even the mode's fault it's just you know tournament organizers i'd love to see this used in offline play more Squad Strike is usually seen as a side event, but I think it should be the main event because in a way you get more character variety and thus you get matchups on the fly that would make things more interesting. I mean, think about it. I, that's how I see it, right? I just think it'd be much more interesting to play Squad Strike. And sure, I mean, I'm fine with the one character, one per character thing, right? Obviously, like, that's perfectly fine. But I think it'd be much more fun to actually have this mode available you know just to play in tournaments as a main thing it, i think it'd just be great i think this would be really fun and in my opinion the best way to experience ultimate because of how many characters it has now there is another mode i do want to cover but i'll save that for a different video so with all that being said thank you all so much for watching please take care of yourselves and as always have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you guys next time peace